leadership? Like, what did, what did, what did he want you guys to show? Did you he just him? wants some more, uh, just more kind of yeah. visual excitement. Just more like kind of rah rah, kind of get everyone hyped up type thing. Which, uh, with Cole being out, we really don't have a lot of because I'm kind of a quiet guy. Ed's kind of a quiet guy. But uh, I mean, when, when Cole's out, we got to step up. Yeah. Someone's got to be a rah rah guy. He's a fire guy. Yeah. Is there some pressure on you as the center you guys making yeah, calls yeah. To, to do that? Yeah, somewhat, just because I'm the, I'm the one that talks to everybody all the time. So. Yeah, and because naturally you're just the one who talks to everybody anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah more or less. I'm, just, I'm kind of expected to be the one that's like, needs to get everyone going. And, you know, I just need to, I need to get better at that because that's not really my strong suit. I've been more of a lead by example type guy, but when it, when it comes down to it, maybe I'll, when I need to be a vocal leader, I, I just need to improve at it. Is, is the spring game an opportunity for you to really work on some of those skills? Oh, for sure, because uh, it's not going to be all the whole ones the whole time. It's going to be me and maybe some twos on the side, some threes on the side. So I got to be a leader there if I'm playing with no matter whoever I'm playing with. So I got to just make sure to get the ship right. This will be your third year starting, right? Yes. So you really are about to spend it. Yes. yes. How, is, how much of a help was football for you like the last few months, given like Dad, the symbol, like, oh, it was crucial. It was crucial. It just helped me. Uh, it just helped me escape all the, all the head stuff, all, yeah. all stuff I was going through. I just got to come in, get some work in, not think about, not think about anything. Just, I just at least have a couple hours off of before I have to think about it. To, to, have, to have to stay in El Paso like that and, and, and stay down there, how, how much of a, a boon was it for you to have all these other parents reaching out to you? And oh, it was awesome. It was awesome. Uh, I mean, I really wish it wasn't under the circumstances, but uh, it was just awesome to see all the support that everyone had for us, and the GoFundMe thing was incredible, and just, yeah, it was it was really cool to have, just have so much support from everyone involved. Are you still in touch with that family that started that in April? Yeah, I, just, I have her on Facebook and whatnot, oh, cool. okay. so. How's your family doing? I mean, how are you guys coping? Uh, we're doing pretty good now. My mom's uh, cancer cancer free now, which is awesome. which is great, yeah. great. And uh, I mean, brother and sister are hanging in there, just kind of going after life. My sister's sister going off to college pretty soon. Oh, where's so, she going? I believe she's going to Boise. Uh, you guys are playing? Yeah, next that'll be fun though. I'll get, I'll get to see her though. <laughs> so. Okay, Riley. So, thanks for